Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. It's quite a big one today. I'm covering some project management software from the Omni Group. That's the team behind OmniFocus, which is my task manager of choice. And OmniPlan is the planning software that I use daily in the corporate world for planning all of my projects. And this has been requested by quite a lot of members, so I thought time to go for it. Now, OmniPlan is great for projects and programs of all sizes. You can totally use it at home for projects that you're undertaking. And of course, if you've got projects that you need to deliver in your working life and you're lucky enough to use a Mac like I am, then this video is definitely worth checking out. Now, I'm going to throw some caveats out at the beginning. I'm certainly not covering every feature in OmniPlan. Now, I've used OmniPlan for close to five years as a professional now, and there are parts of it that I haven't touched and don't need to. So I'm going to highlight the areas I use regularly and get the most use out of. And I'm sure that for the majority of you who haven't looked at this software before, it's going to be more than enough. We can look at some more detailed content in other formats later if people would like it. I am going to be covering a lot though, so let's get into it. Well, first of all, we need to cover the pricing. Now I'm at this URL here at the Omni Group website. This is the pricing page for OmniPlan. And we can see we've got two versions. So we've got the standard version, which is a one-off purchase of $200, and a pro version, which is $400. Now, a couple of things here. It's possibly the most expensive app that I've covered here on Screencasts Online. However, for my work, personally, it's a no-brainer. I used Microsoft Project in a Windows environment for years, and it certainly cost more for a license. In fact, I was recently quoted at just over $1,000 for a professional license. And I may have a bit of a Mac bias, of course, but I genuinely find OmniPlan easier to use, and I get the same, if not better, results using it. And the second point I want to raise Usually in these videos, I cover the pro version every single time, but today I'm not. I'm only going to be touching on features that are available in the standard version. The reason being, I do have the pro version, of course, but I only use maybe 10% of the features that it provides, namely a bit of reporting and importing and exporting files into Microsoft project format so that my non-Mac project managers can import my plans. Those are the only pro features that I use. Aside from that, I use the standard functionality. So that's what I'm going to show you today. You can compare the features of both by clicking on this link here, though. Now, there is a subscription offer for just under $20 per month, and that does give you the pro version. So it may be worth consideration. And if you have a previous version, there is an upgrade price available as well. OK, I've installed OmniPlan, of course, and I'm just going to invoke Spotlight and open it here. 